Aloha. I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD from Out of the Doldrums. Have you ever heard of the green Mediterranean diet? Not the Mediterranean diet, but the green Mediterranean diet. This diet is fairly new and it's a spin-off of the traditional Mediterranean diet. And turns out there's a lot of science behind it. This diet is proving to not just be a trend, it's a testament to how subtle changes in our eating habits can yield profound health benefits. Let's begin by understanding the foundation of the Mediterranean diet, which is recognized globally for its positive impact on longevity and heart health, and how the Green Med variant enhances these benefits. Section one, foundations of the Green Mediterranean diet. The traditional Mediterranean diet is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, olive oil, and fish, and is well known for its benefits in reducing heart disease, stroke, and diabetes risk. The Green Med diet takes this even one step further. It increases the intake of specific plant-based foods that are high in polyphenols, like something called Wolfia globosa, also known as Monkai duckweed or water lentil, and green tea, all the while significantly reducing red and processed meat consumption. The nutritional profile of this diet is fascinating. It's high in fiber and protein, rich in healthy fats, and packed with essential vitamins and minerals like B12 and omega-3s. But what sets it apart is its emphasis on specific superfoods that offer unique health properties. Section two, the science behind the green Mediterranean diet. As we delve deeper into the green med diet, it's crucial to understand the scientific rationale behind its components. At the heart of this diet are polyphenols, a diverse group of bioactive compounds found abundantly in plants. These compounds are more than just antioxidants, they are key players in a complex symphony of biological processes. First, let's discuss antioxidants. Polyphenols are a type of antioxidant which help neutralize free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to inflammation, aging, and various diseases, including cancer. But the role of polyphenols extends beyond just scavenging for those free radicals. They interact with our gut microbiota, the vast community of microorganisms that live in our digestive system. This interaction is pivotal. Polyphenols can influence the composition and function of our gut microbiome, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria while inhibiting harmful ones. This in turn affects our digestion, immunity, and even mental health. Now let's consider the epigenetic implications. This may be a new term that we're discussing today. Epigenetics is the study of how our behaviors and environment can cause changes that affect the way our genes work. For example, we know that our dietary choices can change our epigenetics or gene expression for better or worse. Unlike genetic changes, epigenetic changes are reversible and do not change the DNA sequence, but they can change how the body reads a DNA sequence. This means we can manipulate our genetic expression, which is a pretty powerful tool in our toolbox. This is groundbreaking as it suggests that our diet can potentially modify our health at a genetic level. I'm gonna say that one more time. Our diet can modify our health at a genetic level. Emerging research suggests that polyphenols can influence epigenetic markers, thereby potentially affecting gene expression related to disease risk, aging, and metabolism. Some very well-known polyphenols in the Green Med diet are urolithin A, EGCG, flavonoids, resveratrol, and tannins. Another fascinating aspect of the Green Med diet is its emphasis on plant-based proteins, particularly those from sources like Wolfia globosa or duckweed. Plant proteins offer a different amino acid profile compared to animal proteins, which can have implications for muscle health, metabolism, and even cardiovascular health. Furthermore, the reduction in red and processed meat in the green med diet aligns with current research on sustainable eating and chronic disease prevention. High consumption of red and processed meat has been associated with increased risks of heart disease, stroke, and certain types of cancer. By reducing these and increasing plant-based foods, the Green Med diet not only optimizes nutrient intake, but also aligns with guidelines for reducing disease risk. 
In conclusion, the Green Med Diet is a confluence of traditional dietary wisdom and cutting edge science. It leverages the health promoting properties of plant based foods, enriched with polyphenols, to exert beneficial effects on our body at multiple levels, all the way from the gut microbiome to genetic expression. As we continue to explore and understand these interactions, the Green Med Diet offers a compelling approach to health optimization, and it's backed by a growing body of scientific evidence. Section 3 Health Benefits of the Green Mediterranean Diet. In this section, we'll explore the many health benefits associated with the green Mediterranean diet. This diet not only builds on the well-established benefits of the traditional Mediterranean diet, but it also amplifies them through its unique components. Benefit number one, enhanced cardiovascular health. The green med diet is particularly effective in promoting heart health. Studies have shown that individuals following this diet experience significant reductions in LDL cholesterol levels. This is attributed to the high intake of healthy fats from sources like olive oil and nuts, as well as the reduction in red and processed meat. Additionally, the increased intake of polyphenol rich foods like green tea and monkai duckweed is linked to improved endothelial function, which is crucial for maintaining healthy blood vessels. These dietary components also help reduce blood pressure, a major risk factor for heart disease. Benefit number two, improved metabolic profiles. This diet has shown promise in improving various metabolic markers. It's been associated with better blood sugar control and reduced insulin resistance, making it a potential dietary strategy for managing type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. The high fiber content from the increased plant-based foods also aids in better digestion and gut health, which is closely tied to metabolic health. Along those lines, a recent study demonstrated that the reason why the Green Med diet worked so well for cardiometabolic health is because it altered the gut microbiome for the better. A healthier gut microbiome means better cardiometabolic health. Benefit number three, weight management and reduction in visceral fats. The Green Med diet's emphasis on plant-based foods and reduced calorie intake from meat has been linked to effective weight management and even weight loss. Importantly, studies have shown a significant reduction in visceral fat, the harmful fat stored around the internal organs. Interestingly, the Green Med diet was shown to increase levels of a compound called urolithin A, a compound that significantly correlates with weight loss. Along those lines, another study demonstrated that the Green Med diet decreased intrahepatic fat or liver fat and thereby decreased rates of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, which is also called fatty liver or NASH. I did a whole video on fatty liver. It's linked in the description below. Benefit number four, potential cognitive benefits. Emerging research suggests that this diet may have neuroprotective effects. The high levels of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds in the diet are thought to contribute to reduced oxidative stress and inflammation, which are factors in cognitive decline. A recent study demonstrated a decrease in age-related brain atrophy or shrinkage with the Green Med diet. Furthermore, the omega-3 fatty acids from nuts and seeds and potentially the specific polyphenols in green tea may play a role in preserving cognitive function. Benefit number five anti-inflammatory effects. Chronic inflammation is a root cause of many diseases. The Green Med diet, rich in anti-inflammatory foods like leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and olive oil, can help reduce systemic inflammation. This is crucial in preventing and managing chronic conditions like arthritis, heart disease, and even certain cancers. Benefit number six, impact on longevity and disease prevention. By combining nutrient-dense, antioxidant-rich foods, the Green Med diet aligns with dietary patterns associated with increased lifespan and decreased risk of various chronic diseases. The diet's rich variety of plant-based foods contributes to a diverse gut microbiome, which is increasingly recognized as a key factor in overall health and longevity. In fact, a recent study published in September 2023 demonstrated the Green Med diet is inversely associated with biological aging, meaning the diet slowed down modern aging clocks. Not many diets that I know of can do that. In summary, 
the Green Mediterranean Diet offers a comprehensive approach to health, targeting cardiovascular health, metabolic balance, weight management, cognitive function, inflammation, and overall well-being. It's a testament to how diet can be a powerful tool in health optimization, harnessing the synergy of natural, nutrient-rich foods to enhance our body's resilience and functionality. Section four, practical implementation. So in the real world, how can we adopt the Green Med diet? The Green Mediterranean diet has a few specific guidelines. Here they are. Low and simple carbohydrates, rich in vegetables, replace the red and processed meat with fish and plant-based protein. In addition, 28 grams per day of walnuts, higher quantities of plant matter in general, three to four cups per day of green tea, and 100 grams of Wolfia globosa as a protein shake per day. Also, most of the studies had a calorie limit of 1,500 to 1,800 kilocalories per day for men and 1,200 to 1,400 kilocalories per day for women as part of the green Mediterranean diet. Implementing the green Mediterranean diet is both an art and a science. For instance, incorporating monkai duckweed into a smoothie or replacing an afternoon coffee with green tea can be simple yet effective strategies. It's also about addressing challenges, such as accessibility to certain foods or adapting recipes to fit this diet's criteria. A really good example of this is that Wolfia globosa is very difficult to find right now. One of the only companies making it seems to have shut down, and the other companies, they always seem to be sold out. I've linked an Amazon affiliate link to one source that I could find that seemed to be of good quality. Anyone else have any good sources for this? Let me know, please. Otherwise, I'm not sure I might need to start growing it. Have any of you grown it? If so, please let me know and share your growing tips in the comments below. I need all the help I can get. But looking at walnuts, for example, 28 grams daily is just under a quarter cup daily. That's pretty doable. And three to four cups of green tea per day, doable. And the other foods emphasized like leafy greens, tomatoes, fruit, almonds, olive oil, tahini, herbs, and spices. That's all pretty doable, right? Section five, environmental and sustainability considerations. We cannot overlook the environmental implications of our dietary choices. The Green Med diet is not just health conscious, but also eco-conscious. It promotes sustainable agriculture by emphasizing plant-based foods, which generally have a lower carbon and water footprint compared to animal-based foods. This diet encourages us to think about the broader impact of our food choices on the planet. Section six, future perspectives and ongoing research. As with any evolving field, research on the Green Med diet is ongoing. The future of nutritional science holds exciting prospects from personalized nutrition based on individual genetic and epigenetic makeup to understanding the long-term societal impacts of widespread adoption of diets like the Green Med. It's a rapidly advancing field and staying informed is key to understanding and harnessing the full potential of diets like these for optimal health. All right, it's a wrap. The Green Mediterranean Diet stands at the intersection of traditional dietary wisdom and cutting edge scientific research. It offers a roadmap for not just improving individual health, but also for fostering a more sustainable relationship with our environment. Are you gonna try it? Let me know your thoughts and implementation strategies in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. We always love hearing from you, so if you have the time, leave a comment down below. Until next time, cherish your health and aloha. Where's Charles Darwin? Charles oh, Darwin. Darwin! Charles Darwin Watson. Charles Darwin, come. Uh, yes, you little mud bowl. Hi, this is Charles Darwin. Meet Charles Darwin, newest member of our pack. And that's Watson, you already know him.